So welcome back everybody. I'm sat here with Morlock13 and he's going to be telling me about his Swatch build, which as I understand it, is demonstrating how you can extend the colour palette in StarMade using all the blocks in combination with various different lighting. And I love it. So do you want to tell me a bit about this? Okay, well, the uh, um, I was just going around uh, building a, a previous build, like a, the giant moon gun, and uh, I noticed that uh, I was using uh, a blue background for the actual cannon inside, yeah. and uh, red lighting. And what it blue gave hole me a, is that? Uh, just the regular blue hole. Okay, I'm just going to zoom over to that on there so people can see it. So you've got okay. regular blue hole, yeah. And I was using red lighting on the red side. Red lighting, so go down to red, and then you can demonstrate. And obviously, you can see it's given a really cool green. Yes, yes. Yeah, and really cool. I noticed that. Yeah. And I thought, well, if that's not right, because blue and red make purple, but yeah. okay, what else is there? And so um, we started checking out. Uh, I started checking out some more, more stuff, and I brought it to my uh, buddy uh, Shou Yen, um, yeah. and. Uh, we're like, well, why don't we just make a color palette? So I made a simplified version. Yep. And uh, then of course- uh, I loved it. <laughs> you loved it and you wanted a, a broader. So I just went ahead yesterday and just threw it together. Um, it's all by hand, you yep. know, I, yep. I don't use any of the other uh, programs, but yeah. So we came up with this and uh, you can see that um, like lava has two tone colors. Uh, everything that's close by, if you look at the lava and white, you'll see that um, there is red uh, further away from the actual lava and closer you get to it, it's actually bright like a white. So it's just oh, an sorry, interesting thing like that. Again, sorry, with the lava. Yeah, you check out lava and then you check out white background and white you can see that there's hang on, there's hang a two-tone. You, um, you mean the white hull, yeah? Yes. And it yes. gives you a sort of white with a red spot in the middle. Yes, it gives you a two-tone, and okay. that's why a lot of people end up, I think, started using uh, lava for um, for that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because, yeah, because of the two-tone. Uh, there's also, uh, what is it, Shoyan pointed out, um, making a, uh, a violet color, I think, is going to be red and, oh, good lord, it's it's one of those in uh, near purple near the purple hull, and it gives it a, a violet color. Uh, so you don't need so, purple. Which one's that? Oh, I can't I can't maneuver my character over there without losing team speak, but... Oh, that's okay. Um, I'm just sort of trying to follow what you're saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah. I've got, I can see the red, the red hull, but I don't see it making violet. Well, Unless... it's gonna be one, yeah, it's gonna be in there. It's, which it's kind of a violet it? hue. Lava and, lava and red? I think it's going to be red lighting. Red and lighting. One of, and, and it's going to oh. be one of those. Yeah. Oh, red lighting. Right, and so you're making purple with red lighting without using purple, yeah? Exactly, uh, yes. Where is that? It's red here somewhere, I'm not finding it. Uh, red. I think it's, I think it's going to be a little bit to the uh, right of the core. Hmm. Well, that is purple, but still. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't it, it that. does. Oh, white, it, it, maybe. White and, yeah, uh, it, it does change the. Uh, well, it, the whole basis of this whole thing is is that lighting and whatever hull type is can give you a different effect. So, so what's I the see deal a lot of the bottom. The bottom, the is very that the power bottom tanks? one. Yes. Right. Um, you did throw out there like anything that throws out lighting. I yeah, like, I okay, did. Well, yeah. that does. <laughs> so I put it together. It doesn't really put out a whole lot. It's of a lot light. more subtle, but it does give that color to the wall. Yes, it, I think it works best against a white background. Yeah. Other than that, you're really not going to see it. And on the, what's on the back? Because I noticed you've got more on the back. Yes, on the back side, I decided to expand it further. Yeah. And um, it's a lot of the terrains. Yep. Yeah. I couldn't flip a, too many of the terrains around, so I just had to like put it in there. So you'll see those that are topsoil, and they'll look like they have lines in it, which is actually kind of a neat effect. I even through some of the weapon systems and stuff in there. So you can kind of see if you want to use them as decorative without like actually pattern. having a function. Yeah, yes. like a pattern. Okay, I get that. If you get like the old BMP art back in the day. 
So yeah. there we go. Uh, so basically, yeah. I mean, I'd like to say, can I uh, use this to demonstrate on a regular basis when we have changes? Because I think it'd be a great thing to use on builds, you know, as the game develops, just to keep an eye on. Sure. It. Uh, I'm it's excited great... to see what the new palettes come out and the new colors come out, what there's going to be. Yeah, but... it's a great control, and like I say, if you ever update this, please let me know, because I'd like to use this regularly. Right, yeah. and I'll, I'll be sure to do just that for you. M amazing, because that I think this is a great thing. You can clearly see there's far more colors in there than what you would have thought there were. So for doing interior decoration or even exterior decoration, if you're clever about it, uh, you can cap off the front face of the light, so it's not like, you know, you, you can do that. <laughs> right, right. So I'm really impressed with that. So <clears throat> so the name is Morlock13, and uh, thanks for bringing that to my attention, and thanks for putting the extra effort in and, and expanding it, because I believe when you first did it, it was lights and hull, wasn't it? It was, just lights and hulls. Which does show it off. You know, you can tell you that. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> you know, so. But it, I, I'm a special thanks for, uh, like I say, going the extra mile and pretty much making it eight times bigger, <laughs> so that we can show it off um, in the most thorough way. So thank you for that. And it is actually quite pretty. I'm really liking the way you've modelled it after a sign of some kind. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking the yeah. only thing I need now are just some flashing lights going around it, and there you go. <laughs> so that's excellent, and so yeah, uh, basically, thanks everybody for watching, and we will see you all next time.